Hi everyone, Todd Best from Best Builders here, and I'm with Haven's built-in video series. The series that explores the latest advancements in building science and technology so that you can gain a better appreciation of what you can build or buy to better protect your family and your investment. So today, we're gonna to go to Central Windows and meet a really good friend of mine, Jake Clausen, and he's gonna show us around through the factory. So tell you what, let's get in the truck and let's go. Todd, how you doing? Hey, man. Good it's to see to, you. Good to see you yeah, too, likewise. man. I'm excited to chat about windows and doors today. Should we take a look? Yeah, let's go down and take a look. Right. Hey, hey, wow, there are so many choices. I'm a little lost. Sure, there is absolutely a lot to choose from. Um, I think this would be a good place to start actually. This okay. is our sliding window right here. So this is gonna be the most affordable option and the least efficient option to be honest. When you think about a sliding window, there has to be a little bit of wiggle room so you can actually slide the sash over. Right. Um, whereas casements, you know, with the multi-point locking hardware kind of sucks everything together. Um, so there's a little bit less hardware involved in this one and that's why it's the most affordable So option. it's a good starter window. Absolutely. Or like maybe a renovation window or something that's like that. That's right. Going back 10, 20 years, probably the majority of windows were sliders because there wasn't this emphasis on energy efficiency. Right. Now that the market's changing a little bit, certainly things are going more towards casements. So where would, so let's say this is option you know, bottom option, cheapest choice. Mm -hmm. Where would I go from here? That's a good question. Um, there is actually some upgrades we can make to the sliding windows that revolve around the glass. So we can increase the number of low E coatings on the glass that basically improves the efficiency, the insulation properties of sliding windows. Okay. So from the baseline slider, we have the high performance glazing and then from there we'd be into the casement. And I'd love to see how the hardware works. Sure. Yeah, let's take a look. Come Ooh, on in, well, thank you very much. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> so this is our casement window here. This is pretty much the pinnacle of efficiency when it comes to windows. Awesome. Um, the operation is a little bit different compared to the slider. So you'll see here when I disengage the locking mechanism, it's a little roto gear here and that roto is right out to 90 degrees. Fantastic. Now this window is more efficient because it's, it's just built differently? It's or? a good question um, and it's multifaceted. So the amount of vinyl in this frame, if we were to cut this in half, you'd see the number of uh, thermal chambers contained within the vinyl. Right. So that's number one in the efficiency. Number two is the actual operation of the window. You engage the mechanism, it kind of sucks the sash up against the frame there and that's where much of the efficiency comes so from. So the hardware actually connects at all these points, pulls that window in. Correct. So when we talk about a high performance window, it's not only the efficiency of the glass, uh, it's the efficiency of the frame, it's the level of air tightness, water tightness, structural rigidity. So all of that kind of uh, uh, culminates in a very high performance window. And this is why it's so important to get the window guys involved right away. This is a big part of the envelope. Absolutely. We like to be involved as early as we can. Um, when you think about it, you know, what's gonna be more efficient? Wall assembly or a giant hole in your wall filled with glass? So <laughs> yeah, if we can give exactly. you a nice high performance window that's well installed, it'll do wonders for the envelope of your home. So the clients just think about the pretty picture, really. They don't realize all the science. You got it, there's a lot that goes window. into it. So talking about efficiency, Todd, this window and the casement window behind you are the windows that will accept triple glazing, which is pretty much the pinnacle of energy efficiency. Right. This window behind you with the black interior is actually our new metal clad vinyl window. So we call it our hybrid window. Got you it. get all the efficiency of the vinyl frame like this guy with a little bit of extra durability on the exterior because it's clad in extruded aluminum. So that's, that's a nice option for designers, obviously, because right now black is the in color. Metal cladding means no fading, means longevity in the product. So this product I really like. So obviously we have a lot of options here. Um, and I think we've touched on some of them, but I really need to delve into sort of where do we start? So Todd, when we're talking about the efficiency of windows, yeah, as I'm sure you're aware, <laughs> glass is kind of the name of the game. So this yeah. is a bit of a demonstration we've, we've shown to um, kind of demonstrate the different low E coatings. So what I mean by a low E coating is a low emissivity coating that's applied okay. to the glass. And uh, basically its job is to reflect the heat. So that's either keeping the heat in the home in the winter, keeping the heat out of the home in the summer. Okay. Um, and if you, if you feel this, this is a window with no low E coating, just about melt your hand off. I can feel that heat. And as we move to the right, the windows will increase in low emissivity coatings, which means an increase in cost, but it also decreases the heat 
significantly. Very hands-on for homeowners who maybe aren't familiar with the science of low E coating. They can just stick their hands over and in real time feel what the performance of their window is going to be. And then understand what that what that actually is. But even beyond what you see here is the triple glazing with one, two, three low E coatings, which wow. essentially there's no heat coming through at that point. I'm really I am quite amazed at how much heat I feel here. It's impressive, eh? It, it's it's amazing what just a coating will do. Mm -hmm. But again, it's just there's so much to understand yeah, in today's exactly. windows, right? There's a lot to it. And this is just one portion of it, right? The glass, and then you have the frame, and then you have the installation as well. It's all important to the overall envelope. Well, how does Centra work with me to assure I'm getting, you know, the most for my money? Like, Sure. I, I can appreciate that. I'll let you know if, right off the bat, we are 100% employee owned. That's so that's awesome. something we're very proud of here. Um, anybody manufacturing your windows in the back is an owner in the company. Oh, I'm an wow. owner in the company. Everybody is involved. And so we share that family mentality. So it's a personal stake. Absolutely. That's if anything goes wrong, it affects everybody on the bottom line. So we take a lot of pride in the employee ownership. And we do like to get involved right at the start, as early as we can, even if it's just in design stage. So we can kind of guide, uh, you know, the size, the location, the design of the windows um, at the end of the day that's going to play a huge part in the efficiency of the home so the earlier we can get involved and the more we can take off of your plate the better yeah. for everybody no, we I'm are not... the window experts at the end of the day and that that's why i like to kind <laughs> I of like that i like to cover as much as i can for you well it's it's the same mentality we have you know we have in-house carpenters because we want that personal pride and product i don't necessarily want to be buying windows from some you know, a company that really just says, here's your windows, you know, stick them in. Right, right. You know? Yeah, we, we certainly follow through. Um, we'll be there from design stage right up until window delivery. And in fact, installation as well. The installation is not something we've talked on um, in, in detail quite yet, but the installation is as big, if not more important than the windows themselves. If you buy a very premium window and the installation is poor, you know the air is just going to be flowing right around that window. So it totally negates any money you've spent on the window. So Amen. installation is absolutely crucial. So... Let's remember, we did discuss this with Murray, so we can spend a ton of money on our envelope, our exterior insulation, the cladding, but in reality, we have a big hole in the side of your house. And what we put in that hole is just as important because energy can be flying out of poor installation, poorly chosen windows. This is an important part of our team. So the windows are, again, an important part of the overall envelope and energy consumption, energy loss, heat gain. There is so much science to this. So important to have the team members in place while we're designing your home. So if the windows are installed perfectly, that's one step. Second step is premium windows. Do you wanna go take a look at how they're made? Let's go have a look at how they're made. Let's do it. Jake, I want to say thanks for a great tour, man. I uh, love meeting all your employees. The fact that you guys are owned by the employees, they take pride in the workmanship that they're providing. It's very obvious in the product that you showed me today. So I was really super impressed. It gives me the confidence to put your name forward for our, our jobs in the future. Yeah, well, I appreciate you coming in and giving me the, uh, the opportunity to show you around a little bit. I think it's important not to forget uh, you know, there's lots that go into the windows. I know as builders and window geeks, we get kind of laser focused on the performance of the windows, the U value, the solar heat gain uh, coefficient, everything that's specified in the compliance report. But it's important to remember all the other additional benefits of installing new windows from sound abatement, the ease of operation. You know, everything's going to work perfectly right out of the gates, uh, the comfort of your home. So there's, there's a lot more that goes into the windows than maybe what we're focused on, which is the, the specific requirements in that compliance. You're right. There's two sides of that coin. So from from my side, of course, I'm thinking about, you know, how do I get the windows on site? The window sizes, I gotta think about the, the envelope, I gotta think about the R values, I'm thinking about all of this stuff, and that's not normally stuff that really interests the client. Mm -hmm. They just care about, how am I gonna get my view? Exactly. And so it's nice to see that, you know, I can take care of that stuff and yet still give the clients some of the more interesting, fun stuff they get to play with, which is the design. You know, like you said, all windows don't have to open. And you can design certain windows that will open and then windows that don't need to, therefore saving some cost. That's right. So it's really important that we together have that same vision, the same vision of the clients so that we can look at the home, find them areas where they can save some money. We can still take care of all the builder geeky mm -hmm. stuff, mm -hmm. which is our value and envelope and, you know, make sure we meet all our heat equations. 
but at the same time, the, the owners don't have to get lost in that. I think that the biggest takeaway that homeowners um, take from meeting myself is it's not always bigger is best. You know, there's lots you have to consider from a cost perspective um, and on your own from an installation perspective. If you're installing a massive triple glazed window, like it's pretty heavy, right? Yeah. Um, and then to, to kind of the comfort of the home, if you install a massive window in your wall and the sun's beating down on you all day, maybe it's not going to be super comfortable. So if you can kind of dial that in a little bit and install reasonably sized windows, high quality windows and install them well, I think that's kind of where, where you're knocking out of the park. And you realize there's an equation to building homes, which most people don't understand. Right. And the windows play a massive part of that equation, that's right. as opposed to the size of the heating and cooling units. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is important to think about when we're doing the windows. Do we need triple glazed or double glazed windows? So the window guy is not just the window guy anymore. Mm -hmm. You can't just say, let's just go with the, the least expensive windows. Now we've got all these equations to consider. So it's important for the clients to understand too, what an important and integral part of the team you are. I think going back five, 10 years, a, a project consultant for a window company was just designing a window package, you know? Now we really do have to know kind of all aspects of the code, how it's gonna fit in. If we install maybe high performance windows, maybe we can reduce the exterior rigid insulation or the under slab insulation. It really is a cumulative project now. So I, I enjoy being tied into the project early so we can collaborate and just make sure the homeowner at the end of the day is getting the best home they can for their money. Make it an enjoyable experience, right? Isn't that there what you go. About? I love it. All right, man. <laughs> Thank you so much for your My pleasure, today. Todd. Thanks awesome. for coming in. I hope you guys got to enjoy this. This really tells you and lets you know that, you know, you can put yourself in our hands, but it's important, again, that you have that strong team. It makes your experience more enjoyable. So really, this brings about, you know, the strongest point I think I try to make. It's important to have a good team, important for your builder. Ease of building, your level of comfort is always important to us your product, we want you to be happy. Make sure strong team in place, window guys, designers, everybody has to be and has to hold an integral part of the design. And I think today, Jake really showed us just how important that window aspect can be. So I hope you enjoyed this.